guys, it's Ann. And today we are going to have a look in on the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. And inside this system we have about 7 to 10 pounds of African night crawlers. Let's see. Got a few sitting on top of the blanket here. Kick them off. I have been keeping an eye on the moisture in this thing because it does tend to get dry more so than my other systems because it's made out of fabric. All right, well, I did put in about a half a gallon of water uh, less than a week ago because it was getting super dry in here. So let me have a look and see what they are doing. Oop, sticker. Well, it looks like the, uh, the sort of the experiment with the moss, uh, it looks like they're getting into it. looks like they're enjoying it, but uh, it's not dead yet. Just looking into, we fed just normal kitchen scraps last time in addition to the, the fish tank items. Uh-oh, there's a worm in there. I don't think it's going to grow. But I am going to dig a little bit deeper than normal this time simply because I did harvest the last time and I want to make sure that everything ends up uh, deep into the bin and fills out all of the nooks. So that is one of the reasons that I'm probably going to try and go all the way to the bottom today and make sure that everything did compress the way it's supposed to. Sometimes when I do the beating on the uh, side of the system to get everything to knock down, I miss some. So I just want to make sure that if I stick my hand all the way down in there, that everything has completely filled out the bottom. I can get my hands in there. So let me move everything over. So far, I'm not seeing a worm ball with the food or anything. But I am seeing lots of really nice castings. So, even though I put in that half a gallon of water, I still think it could use a little bit more. So when we get done here, I'm going to go ahead and add more. Oops, look, one of them's doing something. I am going to add more water. It's not staying the level of moisture that I would like to see here. So it looks like they're going to eat one and they're going to grow one. That's okay. I will share. They do such a nice job. They're good little wormies. All right. So this week for food, we have some regular kitchen scraps and then we have more fish tank additions. And so it looks like it's going good. Uh, they, it looks like they ate everything except for this, uh, I don't know if that's algae or moss or, or what it is, but that seems to be the only thing that's recognizable still in here. Taking out these little bits of foil, not sure where they came from. But we have a good size feeding for them today. Last time we gave them a lot of bedding and a medium amount of food and this time we're going to give them a lot of food. So as you can see here, the African night crawlers are a lot smaller than you know they were originally. They're still African night crawlers. This is still a mature African night crawler, but it is the size it is going to be living in uh, the population density that we have in this bin and also with the limit of, of area that they have here. This is a good size system, but it's not enough to keep them really, really big. 
Uh, I'm not breeding them for sale or for size, so it doesn't really matter to me. They do a really good job on all of the carbon, carbon food stuff, so I don't care that they're a little bit on the shrimpy side. So let me get their food. Put the old stuff in the bottom there, and then they grab what they're going to eat. Got some plant clippings again. I repotted an orchid. There's some moss. So then on top of that, they're going to get their normal kitchen scraps. But we're going to give them a good amount this time. There wasn't any food left last time. So again, more avocado, but you can see there's a hole in there, so I doubt that one will grow. All right, so there's a little bit of avocado in here, so that should get them super excited. Never tried to do a rubber tree plant uh, leaf before, so we'll see how that works. And then, let's see, got our orange peels. Got some ancho peppers, some garlic, turnips. So this should be, you know, limes. Should be a really good feeding for them. And I imagine we'll have more to, to look in on them when, when they come back. So let me go ahead and cover this up with regular um, existing castings and bedding. And then let me get the water for them to make this a little bit more comfortable for them. Okay. I used to have a little bit of a sprinkler thing, but it broke and I haven't replaced it. So I'm doing my best to not dump this all in one place. But this is tap water that's been resting for a couple of days. And so not quite a half a gallon. I'm going to start there and see if that is enough. But uh, this bin has been going for a little bit over a year now. It's been harvested a couple of times. If you'd like to see more videos about that, I will go ahead and put a link up top now and you can watch them if you want to catch up on what's been happening with this bin and these worms. All right, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.